Hey, how's it going, folks? Admiral Tori here, and welcome aboard for another video on my channel. In today's video, you can kind of guess what I'm going to be talking about in this particular video, just by reading the title. I'm going to talk about my recent shit train that I just had with my PC. So coincidentally, not too long ago, I made a video about how I had plans to building a new PC. Well, at least in the upcoming summer, that's my plan. If I gather all the money I need to put together a PC, um, I'm still trying to decide between getting certain parts like whether I should go with the AMD Ryzen CPU or the Intel Coffee Lake, but that's not the point of this video today. I'm going to be talking about what happened to my PC. So, as I mentioned in the previous computer video, I talked about how the computer I had was poorly put together and problems are starting to arise with this PC. It has really great parts, but it is a old PC in the sense of its lifetime. It's roughly like five years old, okay? And the, the, the computer part is just phenomenal back five years ago or four years, I don't know, four to five years ago. But today it's it's fairly high end in terms of today's standards. I can run a lot of games on high settings and I can still run ultra settings, but might have to sacrifice the 60 FPS experience. So what happened? Well, I was doing some work for my classes. I was programming something and then I decided that I was going to turn off my PC. Now I'm running Windows 7, uh, I know there's Windows 10, 8, 9, I prefer 7 because I'm just that person. I think 7 is like the best operating system that I've ever used so far. Uh, I can definitely use Windows 10, but 7 is just simplify. If you ever use Windows 7, or I think in the recent Windows, they also have this kind of little icon, but right before you shut down the PC, there's going to be a little icon that looks like a shield. And what it means is that it's going to be updating some Windows stuff like security drivers i don't know but your mandatory update and this happens once in a while everyone been through it if you ever own a windows pc so i shut down my pc and went to eat dinner i come back and the pc was still on so i turn on the monitor and behold on the screen my resolution was downsized and there was a big uh, message saying that you need to recover or system restore your PC. And I was like wondering, what? This, this has never happened to me. I, I, what, what do I need to restore? So I shut off the computer by forcefully turning off the power supply and then turn back on. And next thing you know, that window shows up again. It's saying that my files, my Windows file is, is refusing to work with me. Yeah, it's, it was bad. It was bad. I tried to do a system restore as it suggests, nothing worked. I tried to do a Windows repair, whatever the repair manager, didn't work. And I tried to do some internet search and I found out that I have gotten um, something to do with a corrupted file and this is probably the the most unlucky thing that have ever happened to me when it comes to PC you know there's plenty of unlucky stuff like you know a fan dying out or your graphics card goes to uh, failure and I personally wouldn't mind if my CPU or my graphics card uh, failed on me but when it comes to data and forcefully making me delete things i don't like that you know you can always buy a new part put it together but you can't recover important data like my homework or my videos or the games i have saved on this hard drive or some 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 things so i had no options and my problem was i was getting the blue screen of death now it wasn't apparent because as the blue screen death which is a infamous um, little message on your screen. Basically every time you boot up your PC or somewhere time your PC your screen flashes blue and it shows a message about something a memory error 
but it didn't show that at first because I had to go into my PC and then prevent it from restarting because every time I try to start up boot Windows, goes past the Windows a little cool animation, it just restarts the PC and I was stumped. I couldn't figure out what is causing the problem until so I dis disabled it and I got the error message and I um, Google searched the error message and the solutions weren't there. Now, of course, I can take my PC to some sort of shop and do it, but the thing is that this PC is just, I w like I said, has has great parts, but at this stage, it's just falling apart. I mean, the case, I don't even have a case for it, <laughs> if, you, if you put it out. It's just bare bone. Technically, it's a case, but I took out everything. I, like, stripped it out because it was making noise. So... Yeah, I, I would. I don't want to bring it to the shop, anyways, to begin with, and going through the hassle of you know telling them what happened, and they say they had to keep the computer. I rather use my PC for myself, fix it myself. So I tried everything I can with the Windows Manager and all that stuff, and I went through every conceivable option. Then go so well, um, just keep getting the same message boot up in the safe mode, which is my only hope of fixing the computer, didn't work. And a lot of the solutions requires you, to, requires you to be in Windows. And my problem is that I can't get into Windows because every time I try to do it, it's gonna reboot and give me the same error message. So my only final option in order to fix this was that I was going to install Windows 7 onto my other hard drive, boot Windows, and then gather what I have from all the other stuff in my SSD that is having troubles and all the other things I need to gather and hopefully save it onto one of my hard drives and then reformat, delete everything and start all over. Now, yeah, that fixed the problem. But my problem is that I got a lot of things to put together because, well, number one, I'm trying to finish up my Oblivion playthrough, my Call of Duty playthrough and you know, there is, there's a lot of files on my computer that I don't want to search for, but looks like I'm going to have to search for because I completely wiped out my hard drive. Not my hard drive, my SSD. Um, but if you thought the problem stops there, uh, not really, because after reinstalling the operating system onto my SSD where it belongs, I decided to wipe out the hard drive that I used temporarily as for my OS, which was Windows 7. Next thing you know, I boot up, and it says that it can't find a bootable media, or can't find Windows 7, even though I literally can just go into the directory and find the Windows folder in my SSD. It is, I know it's in there. I know for a fact I installed Windows correctly to one of my, um, my SSD. Well, the computer just refuses to, to believe that it's my main drive. It still remembers my old hard drive that I wiped out that had the temporary windows on it. So, yet again, I had to stick my flash drive in and then completely wipe out that SSD that I just recently reformatted and put all the files in and had to do everything all over again. So, the only good news is that I, you know, I, I have multiple hard drives, okay? That's, that's the good news. So I can grab some of the information and put it into my hard drive and I didn't lose that much data. Uh, problem is that, well, with my concern is like oblivion, my saved games. Homework wise, I, it's not a big problem. I, you know, it's, it's somewhat a, a, one of the small problems that I have to take my time out of day to fix, but not as big as a problem like losing data, which is the worst case. So yeah, I, I have the games hopefully because um, I've been searching up on Google about how games are saved. Sometimes it's saved to certain parts of my hard drive. Sometimes it might save to somewhere else that I don't know where I should look in that location. So I reinstall Windows and I'm back to ground zero and getting everything back together. Now I'm kind of worried like how did this happen? How? This is the first time something has corrupted on me like this. And this is something that you can't prevent. Um, any, anyone can, any, this could happen to anyone technically, but my guess is that at some point when it was downloading the, the thing, um, I believe it was incomplete um, from downloading because at that exact moment, 
my internet went out. And yeah, I it was like the worst technical day ever. So so I had no internet and I had to use my phone to search up things and now I'm just like looking at this computer it's like why won't it work and why is the internet gone? Why did ISP um, the cut out the internet? So I was hoping that the internet would come back the next morning. It looks like it didn't, so waited until I came home from school. My father talked to me about why the internet is gone. I said, you know what, I don't have a clue. We called the internet provider and they said that everything's working fine to dance. I found out that it it was technically their fault some some point. Not really their fault, but something was going on on their side. Um, at first, I thought it was my router because it looks like my modem was working correctly. I mean, like, man, if something went wrong with my router, then it's just a really, really bad day when it comes to computers. So after dinner, my internet came back on again. So now everything is back to normal. Only problem is that I got to re-download World of Warships. I got to re-download all my games, and at the moment, um, I'm trying to figure out how I can get my Oblivion, my Call of Duty, my Prey save games back onto Steam. Because I know for a fact that you know something like Oblivion, that's an old game, and they don't have a cloud service for it. So I know for a fact that. Um, I had to look through my Steam apps and find that save game and figure out a way to put it back into my game so I can continue where I left off. And yeah, that's that's, that's pretty much it. I, if you're wondering why I haven't been posting that much lately, is part of the reason is because the PC was holding me back. Um, the other biggest reason is school, so I'm trying to get back on track with some videos on this channel. Um, I noticed that um, a lot of things has happened to World of Warships. I haven't been playing World of Warships as often as people would believe. I mean, I play World of Warships once a week. I mean, the the October Revolution, there's an event right now, and it's like free premium ship is like one of the more powerful ships. I, I have not got the motivation to actually play World of Warships and do all the simple missions. So hopefully I can... Get some World of Warships out there, but most importantly, I want to get all my saved games back into place and start recording some Oblivion. Um, yeah, some of you guys are probably thinking, man, you know, your Oblivion, your Call of Duty, that's not what I subscribe for, but it's, it means a lot to me because I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do when it comes to making those Let's Play, even though I know for a fact that my viewership comes coming from World of Warships than my one to five views with Oblivion or all the other things, but like I said, it's it's one of those memory road trips for me. I save like a archive of videos on my channel, and with World of Warships current state, I haven't really taken the interest of this game that much anymore. Now, World of Warplanes. Let's talk about World of Warplanes for a brief moment. Um, I noticed that World of Warplanes, one day there was like a trailer on my Wargaming channel that I subscribed to, um, War, War, World of Warplanes 2.0, and it's like, oh, isn't there a World of Warplanes um, video? I'm surprised they just to continue with the World of Warplanes. Uh, apparently, they reworked it com completely with the game in terms of the graphics and the controls and how the game functions. Um, they still have the same tree, I believe, but I have some plans to try some World of Warplanes. And the reason why is because World of Warplanes looks pretty clean. Uh, if you look at World of Warships and World of Tanks, which I don't play World of Tanks, but in, in terms of World of Warships, right now World of Warships is going through a period of time where I would describe it that it's, it's, a, it's a mess in, in terms of like being everywhere. So we got a lot of balances, changes with the smoke, um, premium ships, questionable choices, Royal Navy, and you know, there's, there's a lot of things. And you just saw me with the Queen Elizabeth completely dunk that Nagato, which had like 70% of HP still before I finish her off with that type of accuracy. So yeah, there's a lot of things happening in World of Warships and at the same time, I, I, I want to play planes. That's one of the things I like about World of Warships, playing carriers. And you know, when it comes to playing carriers in this game, I'm always fighting to just have fun, just 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 to play a carrier in this game. And it, it has gotten to a point where, you know what, if people don't welcome me when it comes to playing World of Warships, I have lost interest in the game so I have some plans to try out some World of Warplanes because I'm a big fan of military technology and I want to get into the aviation side of the game um, in terms of 
playing around with like the Zeros and the Corsairs and the Stukas or I don't know, um, BF-109s, Spitfires, you know, a lot of the famous planes and there's all, all sorts of planes that I don't know of. So aside from that, I hope you guys got an idea of what's been happening, if you're questioning what I've been doing lately, and I'll see you guys next time on my channel.